Hello and welcome back to Maths Made Easy. Today we are going to learn how to use log table. But before we begin, I request all the viewer to subscribe this YouTube channel because this keeps me motivated. Thank you very much. Okay, let's define logarithmic function. What is log? Log is basically an inverse of exponential function. For example, in here x is equal to a raised to y so y is called exponent in in here in case you need to find the value of y so you will apply log so this will become log of x is equal to log of a to the power y then according to the log property of log this will become log of x is equal to y log of a which further if you need only y you will transfer log to other side so the value of y will be log of x upon log of a this is how we get by using another property of log we get the value of y equal to log of x to base a therefore x is equal to a raised to y can be right written as log x to the base a is equal to y where a is always greater than 0 as well as it is not equal to 1 so the base of log should start from 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 and whatever okay there are many bases but the most common base used in logarithmic function are base e and 10 the log function which with base 10 is called common logarithmic function and it is denoted by log 10 or just simply log and the function with the base e is called natural logarithmic function and it is always written as log to the base e if it is only simple log by default the base is 10 okay in mathematics logarithmic table is used to find the value of logarithmic function the simplest way to find the value of log to find the value of given logarithmic function we use a log table it's very simple it's a big table and you cannot find the derive the value at a moment so if we have a ready-made table to look into it but to look into it we need to learn how to look into it that's why we are in here today's lecture okay there is another concept just before we start the logarithmic table there is two terms called, called characteristics part and the mentisa part okay the whole part is called characteristic and the decimal parts are called mentisa for example 7.4321 7 is whole so you know what it is called it is called characteristics and this decimal part is called mentisa that is it for now about this topic okay now this is how log table will look like log table is divided into three section basically the first section is this one log of all these numbers and then the columns from 0 to 9 and then 1 to 9 which is called mean difference we will know we will check we will discuss about this in later but today we will learn only how to look log table for example if you want to find the log value of 1956 step number one you should convert any given number in scientific notation like this you have to write 1956 such that before decimal there should be only one digit like I have done here I convert 1956 to 1.956 and look how many how many decimal I go to the left hand side it was like this 19560.0 I go 1 2 and 3 so I can write 1956 as 1956 1.956 times 10 raised to 3 now applying the property of log since there is multiplication I can write plus by separating the log another property of log says that log of a to the power b can be written as b log a the power comes to the 
side of the log so this 3 will come here and then this is log 10 now comes the table 9 1.956 in this case you will be looking for 19 in this column very first pay attention to the first column I have to look for the number 19 okay I found the 19 here I need to look 5 in the first column I mean the first immediately section so 19 and 5 is here I have 2900 so I can write here 2900 0 0.2900 plus what is left 6 6 I will look in mean difference under 19 so the value is 13 I can write here 0 0.00013 just pay attention to the digits of after after decimal since here after decimal we have four digits so I will always write the value of my mean difference in four digits 0 0.0013 even though it is one I have even though it is one two or anything I will be making it four digit after decimal point that's it straight forward four digits after decimal if not you have to adjust it with zeros and log of 10 is always 1 so this 3 times 1 last step is add all these three values you get the log of 1956 3.2913 I hope this example was very clear we will see one more example log of 2889 let's do that again i will be writing 2889 2.889 times 10 is to 3 using the property of log log of 2.889 plus 10 raised 10 log to the power 3 3 will come to the side 3 log 10 now 2889 in 28 i will be looking for value of 9 and mean uh, i will be looking for the value of 8 and the mean difference 9 so 28 8 4594 0.4594 plus 4, mean difference of 9 that is 14 so after decimal i need 4 point 4 digits so 0 0.0014 and 3 here since log 10 is 1 3 times 1 is 3 again add it together to get the value of log of 2889 one more now this is 60.25 convert it in a way that before decimal there should be only one digit since here before decimal there is two digits I'm gonna do it do one thing I will make this zero des I will to bring this decimal here I will be dividing by 10 so this becomes like this 6 Point zero two five times ten raised to one. Applying the property of log, this multiplication becomes plus. Now power will come to the side again. Now look into look into the log table. Six zero two five. So I will be looking sixty two and five. Log of sixty. This is zero. This is one, and this is two. Double seven six nine and 5 5 5 5 in mean difference this is mean difference that is 5 4 remember after after decimal there should be four digits so i am going to adjust remaining digits with 0 0. 0.0004 and plus 1 so 1.7773 is the value of log 60.25 next this is something 0. 0.55 now see there is one digit before decimal right i need one digit before decimal since it is zero i'm gonna transfer one digit to the right hand side that's why 5.5 10 raised to minus one applying the property of log multiplication become positive minus one will come to the side that is minus one here now look for the log of 5.5 but we will be looking log of 55 0 55 and 0 that is 7404 7404 log 10 is 1 1 into minus 1 becomes minus 1 0 0.7404 minus 1 you get minus 0 
I hope you learn how to use log table just to find the log value. In next lectures, we are going to find anti log. We are going to learn how to find anti log of any number. And further in the next lecture, we are going to do some simple calculation, multiplication and division using logarithmic table. So see you in the next lecture. If you like this, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.